Chapter 2 Lanterns. Okay. I bet he is, like, we assume he is now. And then he's not later. They find him. I'm not big on speeches. No way. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before, till he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions. <laughs> Or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. Nice. The first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh, then the fifth time. He cared about everyone. Is Charlotte there? He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger, but he left it as family. This is also sad. Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now- What was that? Now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. Did he call? You're lying. In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. He's right. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. I think so. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Where's his phone? Let's Try check your own it. conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that... we review the sequence of events? Hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with. Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Okay, maybe the call got dropped. 
Oh, shit, I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Right, He's that's enough. Like dead. Now, like, I'm just as he... eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, and... Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is a lot of anger. This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... Yeah, it just doesn't seem coincidental. He did make the call, right? I think so. I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, hell. I'm just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. you shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. That, that was a lot. Oh my god. I'm assuming Steph comes up. Alex? Hey, fuck those guys. Yeah. Yeah. Are you okay? Uh, I will be. Not really. <laughs> I'm glad that's what she said. But I, I will be. Hey, Bunny, how are you doing today? It's not your job to keep it together. I got to the crazy part. Thanks. Do you... Um, it's messy, but do you want to come in? Sure. Jeez. This is insane. I did not expect this. You play guitar? It was a gift. Sort of. It was a gift. Wasn't Gabe. that like the day I showed up? Cool. Doing good? That's good. I'm like devastated. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh never worked till he wiped out that was hilarious like he can't be dead right he's just like down there somewhere <laughs> Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan but by the end of it, I wonder how Ethan's feeling. More jazzed about it than anybody. Someone should talk to him. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> we took this a year ago. We. Huh? No way. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> They're a little barky. What? He actually kept it. Sorry. 
just need a minute. Yeah. Uh, no oh, problem. I want to know what she's thinking. Calm down, Alex. You're fine. You're fine. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. Yeah, I think we should do it. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. Let's get close enough where it's not super awkward. Because she would never know that. This is so cool, though. Now I can find out what's really going on with Steph. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm! <laughs> what? Badass. Give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait. Hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. I'm still really confused. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? Okay. Oh, there's something else. And we still have to do the bottle. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion. Oh, because she would have went Chen. to Denver. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. I think I know enough to help her now. Steph? Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. No, we need to help. Mm. Can I get you a drink or anything? No, thanks. I appreciate the offer, though. I see bus tickets. Sure. That is 50 bucks. Yeah. That wasn't well, it's right. a bus ticket to Denver, and they're in what? Um. Yeah, I guess that is a pretty pricey bus ticket. Foosball? How about a quick match? That doesn't feel right either. I feel like maybe I should turn the music on. Did Gabe tell you we played? I had a hunch. I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. It's music. I need to do music. Fine. Oh no. See, she's competitive. That's why I thought foosball, but... First to five points? If you say so. She's good, isn't she? Oh god, I actually have to play? So, how often did you and Gabe play? the worst ever. It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'm pretty good. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Ooh, drums. We don't want to win too fast, do we? 
how, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. I'm pretty good at this, damn. Five points. That's game. Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your I best. I should have let her win. I, I mean, suck. that obviously wasn't my best. No. I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. <laughs> Requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Is it great to play with you? Okay, okay. Joking aside, Playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. She's good. She's good. She's just messing with me, wasn't she? I'm messing up I'm now. I'm actually trying ah. this time. So you better focus. Well, I was too, I, I thought. Focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. I'm still rocking it. I messed up for a second, but I'm back. Absolute best. Shit. I'm a foosball oh, champion. I was actually trying that time. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's get serious. One more game. Winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion. Okay. I don't know. Come on. Let's do it. You know, Gabe would be all about us playing like this. Well, then it's settled. Okay, I have to be in the zone. <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Totally. Ooh. I'm the best. Hey, so are you into girls or what? Uh, yep. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> girls are pretty rad, right? Especially girls that play foosball and host radio stations and what is happening? Beans, like it's a religion. <laughs> Sounds like a winning combo. She has me all messed up. This is what? 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 Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. How old are you exactly? Fuck. Old enough to know better. She really just did it to oh, me. Oh, fucking finally! She was we asking so many questions. At last. She got in my head. Good game. Thank you. You're a much better loser than Gabe. That's no fun. Sorry to spoil the she victory. She had some interesting questions. <laughs> So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? Hang with you? <laughs> that shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? Definitely a liar. No question. I knew he was a jerk, but this is another level. I think I need to 
prove that he's lying for myself and for Gabe. I've got your back, no matter what. Thank you. That Are we going to talk lot. about the conversation during foosball or what? I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. Bye. That's it. I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? Okay. Need to go downstairs. Why didn't I go with Steph then? We could have chit chatted. She really tried, she really like messed me up during foosball. Like I was in the zone until she started asking those questions. Especially short haired girls who work at the radio station. Dang. What happened down here? Who brings cantaloupe to a wake? Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too it's late. It's all right. I wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. Yep. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. Okay. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Yeah. I get it. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? Yeah, she did like move here with like nothing but her brother. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. Nice. This is your home now. For as long as you'd like. Uh, what about rent? What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Everyone's so nice here, except Mac, but. Give him hell. <laughs> well, I will. Who is that? 
I... I have no idea what I don't know what to say. To hey, say that was terrible. Him. You shouldn't have had to see that. I know you're going through a lot, but can we talk? I know it's asking a lot, but I really think I need to talk to you. I have so many messages, Steph. I'm so, so sorry. I love Gabe. I can only imagine what you're going through. Please call me if you need anything. Can we call? You don't have to respond, but I just wanted to tell you, thank you for saving Ethan's life. I don't know what I would do if I lost him. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. Dear Alex, it was very much my pleasure meeting you this evening. I hope you find a welcoming here in Haven. Look very much forward to our next meeting. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister III. Thanks, Ducky. That's sweet. miss you don't let anyone push you around okay you're rad as hell this is chelsea life has been hard these past few years but i'm really glad we met me too you're right sunflowers invited you to our neighborhood on my block check it out i think i've already done that I blocked my Dr. Lin. Wow. Okay. I feel like we should talk to Ryan. Yo, Spanish Sadie. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the swag crew. How are you doing today? We got another thing on our phone. A year ago, I was ready to ditch this place to keep moving like I always do. And a year ago, Gabe was the reason I stayed, but even though he's gone now, and even though I miss him like hell, I still have reasons to stay. Thanks for showing me that. Yeah. Thanks for showing me that, Alex. Mac deleted his comment? What the hell does Mac have to say about it? Doing very good? Good. What have you been up to today? Okay. Well, I guess I'm supposed to get out of here, right? Investigate the flower shop, visit the dispensary. Wait, what's this carving? RM and TB. I wonder who they were. TB. Don't know. Let's leave. Everyone's just living their life, and I'm not. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop. All right, we get a walk. But I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Wait, can I take the motorcycle? Oh. On one hand, there's the open road and the freedom to run away from my problems. Steph sent me On a text. Other... Mm -hmm. Hey, do you have a sec to swing by the store? Maybe, what's up? Nothing big, I'll tell you when you get here. Helmet hair. Okay. We are going. What is this sign? Not sure Close when the words today. Gabe Chen and Wake will stop being weird. Okay. But now isn't it? I think the record store is over here. I think this is it. Oh, right. The model of Chloe's truck. I have to look for that when I go. But they're talking about it, aren't they? Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Now we're going to the record store first. Want to do something together next week? Oh god, I thought he was talking sure. to me. I was like, I don't I even know you, sir. Sorry about today. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Yes, yeah, so that's what we're doing because Steph is number Whatever. one. <laughs> You know, gotta prioritize. <laughs> I'm excited to see Chloe's truck. That'll be so cool. I'll always miss them. I should play the first one again. It was so good. 
and before the storm. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Helpful. So she's not here. What's up with Hoodie Guy? How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. It's hard to uh -huh. beat breakup music. But maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. Um. Well, is this Ethan's next book? It looks a lot like it. Oh, uh, he won't want a comic. Oh, Steph's in there. Wait, but we need... We need to help him. I hope we all get to see more adventures of Thanor. We were all hoodie guy at one point. Maybe he will My want a comic. My cool, but not as cool as Thanor. Check the cork board. Wait, Chrissy? She's a dog? Rough. <laughs> Maybe we haven't all been, hoodie guy. Hey, you posted about a lost dog, right? I think they have her over at Todd's Hardware. How do I know that? Are you serious? Uh, thank you so much. I I'll call them right now. Cool. Have a good day, man. Hi, I'm calling about the lost dog. Chrissy? Did I just look? I'm glad Gabe convinced her to stay. There you are. God, is she there now? Oh. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, so but... Can I pick her up today? Have you talked to Ethan at all? Nope. Take your time. I'll wait. We should, though. He's taking it really hard. I would assume. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. We're still gonna do it? Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. Ooh, good idea. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Lost Dog You think Gabe you one of his comics, True right? that. So, what do you that think? That was easy. Never even been to the hardware store. Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun? Oh my gosh. Defeating? He looks like, no. I mean, like, that makes sense for the story. But that guy, he looks like, um, the Witcher. I don't know if you guys have played that. But he looks just like the guy from the Witcher, which is my favorite villain ever. Storm Rider looks like a worthy opponent. He gets my vote. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I... I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. It'd be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what For I can sure. do. sure. That kind of looks like that guy's dog a little bit. Hey, uh, Haven listeners. That was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the He's Room. He's so cool. We've got a sweet blog. A LARP a live action role play. First, a few announcements. I this didn't know that at first either. Company, I asked. <laughs> The mission is free this year, so bring... Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. Alex. She wants me to play a bard. We only have 10 health points. Fine. You're Guess fine. I'm in. Let's start with my name. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be different this time. Alto. Alto's kind of cool, but Alexandra is also really cool. But it's a bard, so like Alto actually makes sense. It's clever. Alto is a good name for a bard. Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come Ew, in handy. Oh no. Distortion field. Healing serenade's not cool. Let's go with Distortion Field. Yeah. How did I meet Thanor? 
Funny story. Like from The Witcher, we'd be like dandelion. A wolf and an ogre walk into a bar. Uh, oh God. <laughs> this LARP thing just might work. It sounds so fun. Okay. Do I need to talk to her? I don't think so, right? No. Cool outfit. 